The hose is on. Uh, my wife helped me a little bit. And she also took some pictures. We'll upload to the website. You can see down there, uh, the hose kind of loops around. I looped it around a little bit differently uh, because the hose is not a direct factory replacement. Uh, I also replaced the return hose here with a new one. It's just a 3 8 line for power steering. If you look over here, uh, the original hose that I took off, it actually has a real sharp 90 degree that came out of the pump and then came down and then went into a hose and looped around and then had another fairly sharp 90 degree U or whatever. Actually 180, I should say 180 degree bin. Uh, but the hose does fit and it looks like it's of good quality. I went ahead and all the power steering fluid leaked out so I went down to O'Reilly and got some power steering fluid. I can't seem to get rid of this guy. It's always hanging around. So I got just the plain Jane Valvoline power steering fluid, but it says meets GM, Ford, Chrysler, not recommended for Honda. I'll never have to worry about that in my garage. So uh, we'll fill it up. We'll start it, get it out of the garage, clean up where it leaked a little bit on the floor, and hopefully that's the end of my oil leaks. Okay, I've got her running and uh, just fired her up. She hadn't started in almost two weeks. Got a nice lope out back. You can tell she's got a little bit of a cam in her. Uh, it's been running, I don't know, almost five minutes. The, uh, the temperature gauge on the dashboard works in conjunction with the uh, aftermarket gauges. You can see my oil pressure and meter. Water temp is just about at 170. Normally at idle this car is right around 195. Uh, no leaks. Underneath. I don't see any leaks. Go look at the cardboard. The cardboard looks good. So we're going to call her fixed. And uh, maybe tomorrow, if the weather's good, I'll take her out for a quick drive.